welcome to my film and TV channel. And today we're going to look at uh, an ITV drama. And my apologies for a, a slightly chipped tooth there. I'll be sorting that out as soon as I can. But uh, uh, please forgive me. The show must go on. We'll keep doing these vlogs. I uh, just wanted to tell you that because I'm always conscious of it now until I get it sorted out. But hey, there you go. We're going to have a look at ITV today. We're going to look at an ITV drama. Angela Black. Yes, it's a, a six-part thriller series. I've not been able to binge on this one, which... Uh, depresses me a little bit and I do struggle from week to week. I watch that much stuff that my brain gets all uh, full of stuff. So it, when I have to sort of catch up once a week, it's uh, even though they show you bits and pieces of what's happened, obviously my brain takes a little time to get in gear. So a bit upset we couldn't binge watch on this, which to be honest with you, it probably is a, a pretty good binge watch this one. It's six parts. It started on the 10th of October on ITV and finished on the 14th of November. So uh, just uh, last night as I'm recording this on the 15th of November 2021. Uh, internationally co-produced by Spectrum Originals. There you go. Spectrum. I was at the Spectrum back in the day. And ITV in conjunction with Two Brothers Pictures. Yeah, Liar. If you like the Liar series, have you seen any of the Liar series? from the creators of Liar. So if you like uh, that uh, drama, then uh, you've got a chance with this one. Joanne Froggart stars as Angela Black, the, the main protagonist in this. Michael Hoosman as Oliver, Olivier Mayer, Samuel Adewunmi as Ed. Uh, here, Angela has an abusive husband, of course, in this. Olivia, who belittles her after everyone's gone home from their dinner party before proving that he is a bit of a nasty piece. Then a man called Ed, yes, came into her life with things to say about her husband. She soon gets dragged along and struggles to differentiate between reality and fiction. Yeah, Internet Movie Database, this is where we're going to. 5.9 out of 10, so just below that 6 out of 10 that I like to see. That's based on 869 scores, and of course, most of those wouldn't have seen all six episodes. A lot of people give up uh, two or three episodes in, which is a shame, but uh, there you go. So the 5.9, do we expect that to rise or fall? Mm, possibly rise a little bit, I must admit, uh, to be honest with you, because a lot of people probably dropped out of this early doors, and obviously the people who stuck with it might might seem to like this, I, you know, but I won't give too much away. Of that uh, 869, 573, though, gave it 6 or more. So 6 or more out of 10, so that's 66%. So that's a slightly higher percentage than it looks, doesn't it, on a 5.9 out of 10 average. Uh, 296 only gave it 1 to 5 uh, rating out of 10. So, yeah, if you look at the individual episodes, this is quite unusual. I mean, episode 1 got a 6.4 out of 10. Episode 2, 6.1. Episode 3, 6.1. Episode 4, just 5.7. I thought it was getting better by episode 4, to be honest with you. There you go. Episode 5, 6.4. And then episode 6 is only 5.4 out of 10. But don't forget, uh, very early doors on that one. As I say, it was only, it only aired last night as I'm recording this. So, uh, I think that's a little bit unfair, to be honest with you. I, I thought episode so six was a good ending, a good ending to it all. So what did I think? I mean, yeah, as I said, I was a bit, bit, bit upset. I didn't get a chance to binge on this one, to be honest with you. Uh, and the thing is, there's lots of stories as it progresses. It, the stuff's told in flashback. Uh, uh, I don't remember any screen text to say it was flashback, so that that can be a bit of a pain. Uh, certainly, as I said, for me, I'm sort of having to concentrate on these things. But so so don't be doing other things. You can probably work it out quite quickly. It's flashback, but uh, I wouldn't mind a little bit of text on the screen. And I'm fairly sure I've literally just I've still got the end of it here on here. It's just finished. Uh, I'm on my TV here, and I'm sure it doesn't tell you when it flashes back. It just does it, which is I don't like that. I don't like that, but. I, I, as I said, it's not, not too hard to keep up with as long as you're not doing other things. And what I liked about this series, there's a slight switch in the story. And this is where episodes perhaps three and four I quite like. Because a, sw a slight switch in the storyline as it progressed. And yes, perhaps six episodes was pushing it just a little bit. Uh, but I thought it was okay. And it was it's okay as a week-to-week -week watch if you've not, not got too many things on your mind like me. Perhaps, uh, so there you go, if you, if you wanted it as a weekly watch, it's okay. I say. It's just me. I like, I like to binge watch these things. But uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's okay. You can watch it all on the ITV Hub now. So as long as you were willing to wait till the end of it, you can watch all six episodes now. You can binge watch uh, to your heart's consent. And I think uh, certainly do it in a couple of halves. So I'd, I'd binge watch one to three and then, or one, one and two, do them in a couple of episodes or three episodes, to be honest with you. 
I mean, there are slow elements to the series, but uh, as I say, those those some early reviews, people were put off by that and obviously stopped watching after episode, uh, well, episode one, some people, but obviously some people, episode two and three. And it's a, it is a shame because there's quite a good psycho thriller running through this uh, underneath it all. There is a bit of, as you'd expect, dramatic license and a bit of silliness that things happen that you don't think would happen in real life. Like, that, that, what, what drama doesn't have those elements? But uh, yeah, so don't be put off by a slow burn at times as I say that's probably why as a weekly thing it might have uh, passed muster a little bit better than a binge watch and the psychological side comes more and more into it as I say and then it sort of reverts back to more a thriller and uh, a, a twisty turny thriller as it, as it progresses so you get a bit of a mix um, so there you go obviously this abused wife becomes more than that so it's not just basically an abused wife there's a little bit more to it than that which uh, I quite liked, and it just sort of made it stand above the usual uh, drama, usual made-for-TV drama. In my eyes, as I said, I, a lot of people didn't like it, but I thought it was okay. Uh, for me personally, obviously, Joanna Froggett is always watchable. I like Joanna. I liked her in uh, the other thing, uh, the manor, what was it called? The uh, What was it called? Oh, the... Um... The posh one, the posh one with the old days, set in the old days. I can't remember the name of it now. It might come to it before we finish this, but I liked her in that, obviously. Uh, she was obviously downstairs, one of the servants, wasn't she? Uh, down to Downton Abbey, that's it, Downton Abbey. Uh, and I do like Joanna Frogger, and she does a, a really good job in this. She's, all right, she's not the greatest, but for me anyway, she sort of uh, uh, can't do much wrong for me anyway from a personal point of view. I enjoyed watching Joanna Frogger in the lead part in this one. Okay, nothing groundbreaking, of course there isn't, but there is a couple of nice little touches to this. As I said, it it can be a bit of a slow burn, and, but I, th I thought six episodes was okay. It might have squalls it down to four or five, but I don't think there's anything wrong with dragging this out to six episodes. And we're going to score it six and a half out of ten, so I'm going to give it a very watchable rating. Yeah, not just a watchable rating, a very watchable rating. As I say, it's... Uh, I think it's worth the effort. My good lady's been watching this and she's been quite enjoying it as well. So that's, uh, that's all I need to know to know whether this is okay or not. So I'll give it a good six and a half hours. So let me know what you think. Anyway, as I said, there are people been turned off by it and got a little bit bored. I appreciate that. But I, I thought for ITV drama, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't, you say it wasn't, it wasn't the greatest. It certainly wasn't the worst. So yeah, I say not, not too bad for me. I quite enjoyed it. Anyway, let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, it's all opinions, isn't it? We can't, it's be a horrible world if we all thought thought the same thing, wouldn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. What are you going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More important, let's all look after each other to meet here again on the film and TV channel. Or perhaps have a flit across, have a look at my cities and channel my channel on my football team, Manchester City. Whatever it is, if it's back on here, hopefully, I've got this sorted out at some stage. Hopefully, if it's back on here, all I ask for you to do is please stay safe, everyone. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye for now.